What's up you guys, Eddie Fliptronics. I'm going to be uh, helping you guys out if you're having some issues with your iPhone. Um, pretty much, this will be for your 6, 6 Plus, 6S, and uh, 6S Plus not connecting to iTunes. Alright, so guys, um, you know this is pretty frustrating. I've been there myself. Um, so I'm going to give you some uh, some tips, and I'm going to list them in the description box for you guys too to help you out. So, obviously, uh, the first thing I'd recommend doing is updating iTunes on your computer to the latest version. You want to do the same thing with uh, your iPhone. You want to make sure it's updated to the uh, most recent iOS version. Uh, a reason you want to do that on your phone is just because when you update your phone, it'll usually get rid of any uh, bugs or uh, you know glitches in the software. So it kind of just you know patches itself. Another thing you guys should do is uh, check for debris in the port. Um, it's important just to uh, make sure that there's no debris in there that's you know causing it to not connect. Um, Another thing you could do, guys, and uh, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Whenever you plug your iPhone into a computer, it'll have that little uh, trust, trust this computer come up. Um, you may have at some point click do not trust, which is causing it to not connect on accident. The only way to fix this would just be to uh, do a uh, pretty much a reset on your phone. You can go into privacy, though. Um, as well and uh, you know kind of mess around and see if you can fix it that way but I would just recommend just going with resetting your phone that way at least um, you could you know plug it into that same computer and then it'll uh, ask the same question just make sure to hit trust so that's usually one that uh, you know I think people do on accident um, another thing you could do is um, you know try obviously different USB cords and um, you know uh, you could just have a bad USB cord which is uh, making it happen that's pretty common um, and then you know as a last resort guys just try uh, resetting your phone doing a factory reset just make sure to back everything up if you're still having some issues you guys uh, you can contact Apple and see what they have to say and then if you have Apple Care Plus um, you know maybe it's gonna require you to get a new phone but at least you have insurance on it uh, definitely feel free to comment below guys stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe to our channel